What's up, reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zoltink Boys. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about where do I feed my reef? Don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the bell. To be more specific when I say what do I feed my reef, in this episode, I'm gonna focus mainly on the livestock. What do I feed my fish? So, um, a lot of people have a lot of different theories as to what they feed their fish. I like to mix things up. I like to have different types of food in the system for the fish. So I'm gonna cover all the types of food that I use from um, fish eggs to flakes to frozen food. So let's take a look at what those foods are. So I do like to mix things up because just like humans, we don't like to eat the same food every single day. So here I have a mixture. Um, now you guys know I do have t um, a yellow tang and I do have some other guys, so they do love seaweed. Now I do use the, sea the nori sheets, however I just ran out. Um, and because of the, you know, the isolation thing, the quarantine, uh, we can't just go out um, for anything, you know, that's not necessary, so. Um, now, I do have a mixture of Reef Frenzy, the fish love this food. Now the key to this food, in my opinion, is I like to mash it up a little bit because it does have bigger chunks of meat um, and the bigger chunks sometimes can get eaten by the fish so it ends up going into the water column and next thing you know you have you know levels that are out of whack. But I do like to mix it up with flakes, pellets. I'm a big fan of mysis. So what I like to do um, is I'll grab my reef cup, which everybody needs to have a reef cup, and my turkey baster, and I'll put a cube of it in there, and then I'll mix it up. And I'm actually gonna show you guys, because I do have to do my feeding. That's kind of what prompted this whole video, was I was gonna do a feeding, and I was like, hey, this would be a good chance to show you guys what I used to feed my reef. So, krill. So a lot of really cool stuff in here um, to keep the fish enticed. Now, um, if you do have picky eaters, um, I do use garlic. So let me go grab the garlic and show you guys what that looks like. And I'll also show you the fish eggs that I use as well. Here, I have some of the garlic that I like to use. Let's see if I get the focus in there. There we go. So this is Ken, so there's tons of different types of garlics out there. Whenever I get a new fish, I'll drop two or three droplets into the food and I'll mix it. Um, and what that does, fish love garlic, it's good for their insides, um, and it entices them to eat. So if you do have a picky eater, guys, try a little bit of garlic. If you don't have access to something like this, regular garlic works too, so just mince it up um, and put it in the food, and that should entice them to eat. Now, something I do at least once a week, Dr. G's anti-parasitic caviar. So this is cool preventative care, huge on preventative care. Um, a lot of times people jump to the whole freaking out thing when the fish has ick, when it has marine velvet, when it's already sick. If you start feeding your fish frequently and you feed them good nutritious things, not just like brine shrimp, um, that will help them not really develop all these issues. To give you an example with yellow tanks, a healthy yellow tank, he grazes all day, so he needs algae. So if you run out of regular algae, you know, maybe feed more than once a day. You know, that way it's getting its nutritional value, it's not stressing, it'll also lower the aggression in your reef tank. So there's a lot of really cool food in here. Um, the main reason why I ended up getting, forget giving an example of this krill a while back was because I had a little eel. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, crazy story with that eel, I'm not gonna get into it, but um, they love this. And I realized that the fish also love this. So as I would try to feed the eel, the clowns would go and grab it off my, my tongs, right? So. Um, all this stuff in here, all this stuff will allow you to mix it up a little bit and keep everybody excited. So I'm actually going to do a feeding now. I'm going to grab a cube of this. I'm going to put some caviar and I'm also going to put some garlic. So I'm going to do a little cocktail for him. So let me grab the reef cup, um, which everybody should have a reef cup. And I'll show you how I prepare it. First thing you want to do is to thaw the food out. You're going to need to thaw it out with the water from your tank. So I'm going to grab some water. Probably about two or three of these. 
That way it can be consistent with all the levels of the water. All right, so once I do that, here you get your mysis. I'm gonna pop the cube out. I'm gonna put it in the cup, let that thing start thawing. I'm also gonna put some eggs, some caviar, like we talked about. Now again, this isn't every single week, but this today is getting into it. Especially if you don't have much going on, guys, we're all stuck at the house. So learning new feeding techniques is always pretty good. I do a little cat full. All right, so this is where it's gonna get interesting, guys. For you garlic lovers, you're gonna be right at home. For the people that hate garlic, brace yourself. This is strong. So one or two drops goes a long way, guys. So it comes with a little droplet, just like your, uh, your iodines. Shake it up. A little squirt. Put it away. So, whoop. Ooh, that's strong. Give me a little lightheaded. All right, so I'm actually gonna add a little bit of the marine frenzy um, because my fish are super hungry. So let's take a look at that. LRS Refrenzy. So, comes in big chunks of meat, so I'm literally gonna cut a little piece off. Remember, usually a fish's stomach is as big as his eyes, so don't go too crazy. Um, but I do have a lot of fish in here that love to eat. And this is for the main tank, the Red Sea 170. There we have this. As you guys can see, it's literally a chunk of meat. So, we're gonna put it in here. I like to stir it up, I like to speed the process up. As I'm doing this, all right guys, this is my, what is this, Mission Impossible? Reef kept my base, so everybody needs one of these guys. Top secret, remember all those tools I keep telling you about? The sticks, the claws, yeah, there's another one. So I wanna make sure everything is nice and fine. Woo! God, that thing smells. Make sure it's nice and fine. Remember guys, if you don't make it nice and fine, it's actually gonna go everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna suck it up. Let me see if I grab you guys with me. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, there is a new fella in there. So, let me see if I can straighten the camera out. It's actually a copper band butterfly fish. Now before the tank slash fish please come for me, I am gonna be upgrading. Can't talk too much about what I'm doing, but yeah, there is some pretty cool changes coming up. Um, either way, he was in a fish store in a small little tank, so this tank is 10 times better. It was also, um, I had an octagia issue. So he's been going to town. So for the first couple hours, it was actually a little bit of an aggression issue between the copper band butterfly and the yellow tank. Um, but ever since that day, they've been pretty good. Everything seems to be doing fine. I still have the little issues with my sand bed, but um, as long as my coals are fine, it's something that I'll just keep battling. I did switch my water provider up, so if it's any silicates in the water, we'll see. I am experimenting in the frag tank, running a little roll boss, just to remove a little bit of the silicates. But anyway, um, really got off track. All right, so here, got my turkey baster. All right, guys. So let's see. Let's see what kind of damage I can do here. So there you see all the fish going to town. So I got pretty lucky. Um, this copper man loves to eat. But he's really picky, he only likes the mysis. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in here. He doesn't like a lot of the, um, the eggs or the, he doesn't mind the fish meat. Let me grab another serving. For the turkey baster. All right, let's see what I got.
There you go. There we go. Okay. So it's super hard to find a good specimen of the copper band butterfly fish. But whenever you can find one that's eating, he was eating like a pig at the LFS. I waited two weeks before he got him. I did get him from Sea in the City. Um, and this guy eats like a champ, yellow tang, everybody's eating pretty good. Now I do water changes every week. So I do feed heavy. Um, now the weeks that I feed really heavy, I don't do a lot of refroids, that way it kind of offsets itself. I do have some Acans, Euphilias, Claim, I do have an anemone back there. Okay, let's see if I get a zoom in on the anemone. So... I am going to be building a Refugium in this tank at some point. Let's add a little bit more food, and then we'll go feed the other tanks. Alright, one more round. Now you might be wondering why don't I just dump the whole cup in there? Well the reason I don't just dump the whole cup in there is because if they don't eat it as it drops, it'll just go to waste. So it's like a child little by little, you put food in. Look at that copper band. I think they sold me a pig. Now you saw, you see that? They still pick a little, they still pick at each other rarely. Um, that's the extent of it, but they, no effect, no nip, no real scars on the, on the fins. Everybody's eating their heads off. Alright guys, so let's actually go feed the Red Sea Max Nano. I think I still have a little bit of food left in here. Uh, I should have enough food for him. All right, let's turn this sucker around. Now this guy's soup, this is probably the shyest clown I've ever had. Lights came on not too long ago. The TV decides to come out. There's some food, come on buddy. There he goes. Guys, look at the color on him. Let's get that zoom in. Now this is no filter. So you might not be able to see the corals of that good. But look at him. At first he was super shy. He still is a little shy to be out in front of the tank, but as soon as you put your hand in here, this guy's like a little piranha. Whoa, doo -doo 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 -doo. Look at this guy, look at this guy, guys. Look at, look at the way he grabs the food. That's crazy. What do you guys think? So then he eats and he goes back to hiding. What's up, guys? What's up, dude? We still don't have a name for him. So we have Gomers and Morticia. We need a name. We need a name. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think you'd like to name him. All right, guys. That's it for this week's episode of Zoltate Boys. So I hope you like this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. If you don't follow us already on Instagram, give us a follow at Zoltank Boys. And let me know what kind of food you feed your reef. Um, do you do things similar to the way that I do them or do you do things very differently? So, alright guys, have a good one. Till next time, I'm out.